Dennis and I am seven years old. In the second episode, we saw a beach with the underwater sandbars and the dunes. Sediment coming from cliffs and estuaries is transported by the longshore drift to beaches, dunes and other places that need it. But what happens if we mess with the transport of sediment? Imagine that we do not let cliffs erode the way they naturally do. That means less sediment is going along the coast and less sediment is going into the beaches and dunes. Now imagine that we put a dam in the river. It also means less sediment is going down the coast and less sediment is going into beaches and dunes. Finally, imagine that we build hard walls sticking out from the coast. These could be harbour walls to protect boats inside from big waves. But the walls trap all the longshore transport on the up coast side. And then the down coast side loses its sediment. With all these problems, we need to think carefully about our actions and what type of coast we want for the future. Hi, my name is Amelia and I'm eight years old. I live in Formby in the northwest of England by the Irish Sea. Now that you know how coast works, it's time to ask an important question. How can we help protect our coast? In natural areas, we can avoid building houses because beaches and dunes and other coastal environments just love moving all the time pushed by water and winds. So better to keep houses out of the way and let coasts get on with their cool boogie. We can also build houses at safe distance from the coast to allow the coast to change with the rising sea levels and keep Miss Piggy happy. Moving houses away from the beach is sometimes an option too, so our beach and dune protecting superheroes can continue doing their job. Using designated car parks and boardwalks limits trampling and keeps our dunes strong, and we can still go to the beach and enjoy the sand and the waves. Sometimes we need to build near the coast, but this has to be studied carefully and with people who work and live by the sea. With so many diverse environments and so many plants and animals living in them, it's no wonder we love the coast so much.